Okay, sorry that my video is going to be in two parts, but I had to stop and go and answer the door. So, and I'm using, I'm learning how to use my new software, and I just, I just realized there was a pause button on there, and I hit the stop button instead of the pause button. So, please forgive me for making this into two videos, but I'm going to try to just rush it through quickly. Okay. Uh, so, so the next thing I wanted to do is, uh, and we're following the direction, so we have the, the fruit salad card base, as I'm going to call it. We have the Grand Apple Green strip. We have the sentiment strip. We have the leaves for the strawberry, and we have our little strawberry. And you know what? I know what these are called. I just, for the life of me, I don't remember what they are called. Because I remember when I was growing up, people would always have these. So, okay. And so, like I said, we're doing card number one. And so, we're just going to put it together. So, let me fold this. And so, this way. Okay, so, on the, on the paper right here, it tells you to use three of the blue dots for the sentiment and three of the dimensionals. For the Granny Apple Green uh, base, it also tells you to use a, uh, a dimensional and a glue dot for the leaves. So that I'm gonna do that first, and let me take out my trusty pick tool. And where is it? Oh my goodness! Okay, well you know what? I'm gonna have to do this a little different this time. So, instead of using the, uh, well, I want you to know how to use the glue dots. So, so let me put them on here. So, you put uh, the glue dots on here. So, I need one right there. And my nails is long enough to pick them up. Thank goodness for nails right now. I can't say for the next time. I'm going to go ahead on and pull the back. So, and then, that's that one. Go ahead and pull that back off. Okay. And then let's see where my dimensionals. I'm going to need dimensionals for, and I need three of them. I need one for right here, one right in the middle, and then one right there. Okay, so that's my adhesive. Oh, no, 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 I'll take that back. I'm going to go ahead and do that part. Because, you know, this is it, there's no stamping, so it makes it a little easier. And so, on here, on the small leaf, I just need one. On the big one, I need a, a dimension on there. And then, one little tiny uh, glue dot right there. Okay, so that's it. And, and then, for this... I don't know how you... Oh, does, it, does the back peel off? Oh, it has a self-adhesive back. Okay, so that's what they said. That the little heart has a self-adhesive back. So let's just fold the card. And where's my bone folder? And I'm just going to use my bone folder to burnish the side of the card to make it flat. Uh -oh. no, no, no. Okay. All right. And then, so, let's see, this is how they have it. So, let's just put it together. Okay, so, they have the dimensionals first. And that piece goes up here, about right there. Put that on there like that. And then the sentiment goes on it, like right here. And then, here are my leaves. So, the biggest leaf go down first. Okay. Pull the back off. And the way that they got it, it looks like it's going to cover. Looks like it's going to cover that, like that. Put the little piece up there. Then the smaller leaf. It's going to go directly on top of it, and you're just going to center it like this, okay? And then, like I said, this has an adhesive back, so you're going to pull off the adhesive. 
which I think is really good that it has an adhesive base. So you pull that off. Okay. Then you're just going to open it up like this. And you know what? I'm thinking the best way to do it, because I probably didn't do it right the first time, was like... Uh, just like this and then I'm going to bring one side like that and then bring the other side like that and this is oh this that's just too cute oh some of my stuff is a little crooked so let me see if I can kind of straighten it hold on hold it hold it hold it hold it hold it, hold it. so what I need to do is kind of put that like that so it can be directly over my little strawberry. Well, my little piece is kind of crooked too. Oh no, I got it. I got it. I got it. Okay, that's card number one. All right, now, so let's go to card number two. We're going to flip it over. And so card number two is. Is this card base um, one of these balloons and then the old happy day sentiment which is just gonna be this sentiment I have to admit it's kind of shaped just like a, a balloon too okay so what we're gonna do is we have this and this, and then here's, believe it or not, this is the string for the balloon. This is the balloon string. So basically what we're going to do, we're going to, we're going to do the ends like this. But, guess what? This time, we need to, this part goes in here first. So I'm gonna peel the parts off like that. I'm gonna put that like right there on the corner in the middle. And then I'm gonna pull the other piece off like this. And I'm thinking it'll be easier to just bring it over like that. So that when the cord closes. Hold on, let me see. I'm just going to close it like that. That way I know that it's on both sides. And when it opens, it'll open like that. Okay, and then on this side, um, for my sentiment, I'm going to need four dimensionals. say 12 inches and, uh, and they have the measurements on there so that you can measure so I'm just going to kind of eyeball 12 inches then what I'm going to do is make me a bow I know I cut more than 12 inches but that's okay I'm going to try my best not to So, for the front of the card, 
we're going to put our sentiment. And that goes right here, like that. And then at the bottom, I'm going to use one of my little glue dots. And what I'm going to do is just grab one of them. And I'm going to set it as close as I can up under. There, like that. I'm going to pull the back off because I want it to kind of roll it. And it did exactly what I wanted it to do. And then I'm just going to cut. Uh oh. No, 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 no. Don't you dare come loose. Oh, don't you come loose. I tied you very well and I want you to stay very well. Okay. a little too long so let me cut off some of these edges at the bottom now and that's card number two nice 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 okay so now let's go to card number three okay so card number three is the congrats so let's put this back up and let's put this back in there like that and so for card number three we're going to need a sun. And we're going to, first of all, let's get that chord base out. This the chord base. And the sentiment is congrats. So it's going to be this sentiment right here. And even though this here come with different languages, like I said, the sentiment comes with different languages, you could always use those little dot cut shapes for something else. You could probably either like might put a strip or something right there if you wanted a cloud or to use those labels so you could still use them. Okay, and so we need this piece, this piece. Um, here's our little sum. And what else do we need? We need one of the the uh, the sunch the uh, the sun rays. I call them sun rays. And we need, there's another sentiment. It says you did it. So this card has two sentiments. Nice. That is going to be nice. That's going to be really cute. Okay, so now let's put it together. So we have everything. So they want you to do that first. But you know what? I think I'm going to do this part first and then do that last. So on the outside of the card, it's, okay, so the clouds are going to go over that. Oh, I see what they're doing. So, you know what? We need to get two glue dots, and I'm going to show you what they're doing. We have the two glue dots. And we're going to put one right here. And we're going to put one right here. And so, see what they did was they took off. Okay, so they removed that. And so what they did is that they took this piece and they're going to stick it behind the cloud like that. Okay? Just like that. Then, on the back, you're going to use, let's see, four dimensionals. So you're going to put one here, one right here. And it kind of shows you in the picture. One right there. Then on this one, you're going to put one that's going to be in both places. Half like that. But you know what they did? They also want you to pop up. They want you to pop up your um, your rays. So you're going to take the scissors, your, 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 snip, your scissors, and you're just going to cut the dimensionals in half. Uh-oh. And hopefully they don't get stuck. Cut the dimensions in half. You're just going to put them on your, on your rays. Okay. And let me see. Let me do one. Do two more. Okay. 
And just think that uh, the one that you don't use can be used for your other card. And you're gonna put that little piece on there like that. Kind of take this up. These are really sticking to my scissors. So I'm gonna have to figure out a different way to do that for the remainder cards. But, but there's a wheel there as well. Okay, and then that's that little piece right there. Then we're gonna take this off. I'm gonna put this back on it because I can use it for the other cord. Then your little small piece, you did it. It needs dimensionals too because they want everything to pop up. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I wanna put my cord together first, then I'm gonna go in and put my sun. So let's pull all the backs off of this. This card is just too cute. I mean, it's just too cute. Okay, and so it's like right here. And then the you did it. You know where we're going to put it? We're going to put it where the clouds can kind of touch each other. So we're going to put it about. up our card and we're going to put in our sun and so we're going to do like we did the last time and I'm going to burnish my hands okay. now we're going to do like we did the last time so we're going to grab the sun we're going to grab the sun and according to this it tells you to put it right there like right on the spine Just kind of make sure that you know you're closing and you're making sure that it it adheres really good so when it opens and when it opens that's the card how cute is that oh my goodness how cute is that okay so we we, we finished three cards and so what i want to do is put them with their coordinated envelope that's one fruit salad rainbow all right so so here's the card base for the rainbow i mean not the card base i'm sorry the envelope the envelope for the card uh the rainbow card here's the envelope for the balloon card and here's the envelope for the fruit salad and i think these are just too cute and you know what look at them there's no extra bling there's a little string but just so you know, if you decide to ever get the kids collection, everything that you need for the kids collection comes absolutely inside of the kit. There's no, you may need scissors, but you won't need no extra glue. You won't need no extra embellishments because it comes with everything. If you get one that has the, the stamping, it actually comes with a stamping block and an ink spot for the color that you need for that particular kit. Those are all inclusive kits. And just so you know, they range anywhere from 12 to like, they start off maybe like from 12, depending on what the kit is, up to maybe about 25. But they're awesome kits. Uh, they're crafting on the go, and you would absolutely love them. Well, thank you so much. Um, I'm going to, it's my plan to uh, do another video in the next couple of days, and I'm going to do an I'm, unboxing of my product purchase premiere 
and all of the new in color goodies and oh i promised you so let me do it because i promised that i was just going to show you a copy of the catalog so let me move this to the side and i'm just going to show you a copy of the new catalog that's coming up and i've already went and had mines uh buying and stuff like that but this is the copy of the catalog right here okay you see it and it's really nice i like that it's that green after doors and see you see those ladies out there they're crafting and uh they're eating and they're chatting and i love that big old gorgeous jordan that big uh that beautiful green grass and so they they let you know that they're they're getting ready to have some outdoor crafting fun but if you've purchased something with me within the last six months you're automatically on my catalog list and so i will be getting that list together because i need to submit it by the uh the end by easter as a matter of fact because that's the last day to submit it so i need to submit that order and so you'll be receiving your own personal copy of the catalog well so so thank you so much and again let's just show these beautiful cards here's the fruit salad cards with its matching envelope the balloon card with its matching envelope and the rain the rainbow card with its matching envelope and just think wouldn't somebody love to receive one of these be beautiful cards to say just think somebody did something that they've really been trying to do and they got to get you to say okay congrats you did that you did it and then if you just want to wish somebody a happy birthday you can say oh happy day and then if you're just really proud of somebody's achievement what better way than to say them with a fruit salad card very proud of you so thank you so much for watching my video and i'll see you the next time this is renee with craft with renee and i hope you have a wonderful and blessed day bye